Hello guys, how are you doing? A quick video really. I thought I should just share this with you because I've tested so many hybrid cars and electric car, well, one electric car. I thought, let me just share an idea with you what I have found out and why I think Volvo V60, a hybrid is the best hybrid today. Uh, I've tested Toyota Auris, uh, new Prius, including the Prius that I own right now, uh, the Prius plug-in, uh, both the Prime and the normal Prius, which, you know, you don't, you don't plug in, just charges itself as it goes. I've tested Peugeot RX-8, a saloon model, an estate model, SUV which is called the 3008 uh, all of them rubbish but don't worry about it I'll try to explain okay I'm sorry if you like Peugeot but I wasn't pleased I've tested Mitsubishi Outlander Pev but I made a video <coughs> uh, I have one of the videos it's just that some of the cars when I was testing them <laughs> completely forgot to film okay I've tested Nissan Leaf. I went to Nissan. They gave us a brand new, <clears throat> sorry, a brand new Leaf for the whole week uh, to try to see if it will, you know, do this job. The only problem with Nissan Leaf, even though they were saying it's up to like 110, 120. Even when I was driving as nicely as possible, here in Stockholm Trent, I could barely get eight. But I needed 100. If I could have, if it was doing 100, I would have gone for the Nissan Leaf. But I thought, nah, it's not going to work. You know, also airports, you don't want an electric car like that with very small range. Trying to go to Birmingham, to Manchester, it's not going to work. Especially Liverpool is a little bit far as well. So I tested all these cars. Uh, I haven't tested Kia. Mm. I I read about it, but I never got an interest in you know in going to see how it runs. So, coming back to the Volvo V60, why do I think the Volvo V60 is the best? Number one, this car has a very very excellent diesel engine. It's a 2.4, I think it's twin table, with. 285 brake horsepower, 472 uh, foot pounds of torque. Torque is the twisting power. <laughs> 472. That's the territory of really fast cars. 0 to 60, it takes about 6 seconds, like BMWs, Mercedes, and Audis. So it's a very, very powerful, quick car. And it also has. A very good hybrid package you have lithium-ion battery at the back in the boot that has the range of about 30 miles it's a four-wheel drive I will list everything on the description it's an excellent car now if you use this car around town which is most of you know most of us do every day we take his to school and then we go to work and then we go shopping if you do around 30 miles a day, which is huge if you are just using the car for personal use, uh, you might never need to start the engine for quite a long time. And I'll explain why uh, before you jump from this. It's, but here it's cold. Hang on. Hold on. It has a diesel heater. So if it's cold or snowing, you have a diesel heater so instead of having that beast warm the cabin inside in the morning it can use a diesel heater and diesel heaters are very efficient and very economical one liter can take it maybe five hours you know just warming the car inside if you don't want to use the diesel heater you can use the electric heater inside you can be plugged in and you can heat the car inside while you are charging at home you can use the aircon while you are in the you know in the house preparing yourself to go to work it's excellent absolutely excellent and as a volvo you know they're built like tanks they're very very robust cars uh, 
I loved it. I loved the power on it. Because, you know, for taxi, it would have been excellent as well. If the battery is dead, you have that huge, powerful engine that will take you up the, the Stockholm train hills with ease. You know, so it is a very, very nice car. Uh, we enjoyed testing it. Uh, you know, top quality. Look inside. You know, and I'm not advertising Volvo here. The devils, I don't think they'll want to do anything with me. So... Uh, but I'm, I just have to tell you what I think is best. Uh, you know, it is this car. If you want to buy a, a plug-in hybrid, this is the car. It's, it's the best. Uh, there's a Mercedes plug-in. I, I don't think it's a good idea. Too expensive. And with Mercedes these days, chaos. Good quality, but headache. You know. Now, I didn't buy this car because of here. On this photo here as you can see those seats they're in the normal position that's not my position i push the seat all the way to the back because i have long legs you know uh, and in that normal position hey it was a struggle to you know to sit behind the driver's seat in the normal position before i adjust the seat to you know the position that i would like uh, it was a uh, it was a tight squeeze. So we went to Volvo about four times, majoring, trying to figure out, you know, what can we do here? There's absolutely not enough space, not enough leg room. And when you go to the boot as well, you know, here, it has a very small boot. You know, going to airports, picking people with huge bags, this is not going to work. It's, it cannot work for the job that I was doing, you know. I mean, if you look over here, I've taken... This is Prius, and this seats... This is my car, my Toyota Prius. This seats, I've pushed them all the way to the to the back. And there's still a huge leg room. So if I push the seat a little bit forward, you have massive, massive space. You know, people fit in and there is, they, you know, between the seats, there is almost flat. So people cross into the other side, no problem. Whereas with the Volvo, there is a huge hump in between the seats. So there is very tight space plus this huge thing in the middle. You know, I wanted this car for my business, but... It wasn't going to work. I ended up buying a Prius with 98 brake horsepower. Think about it. 98 brake horsepower. And the Volvo is 285. You know, I, had, I absolutely had no choice. If I was just needing a car to use for my, you know, family, you know, I would have bought the Volvo. No doubt about it. Not a Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi has a petrol, two liter petrol engine in front. Once the battery is dead, that two ton wouldn't work with a two liter petrol engine. It will become so thirsty. It has no power anyway. It's not quick. So that's the Volvo, guys. That's the car that I think is, uh, you know, is, is the best hybrid. Okay. Now, Peugeot, even though it's diesel, the hybrid system has the same battery capacity as a Prius, but it weighs almost two tons. How silly can that be? Prius weighs 1.4 tons. And Peugeot, two tons. But they have the same kind of capacity on the battery. You know, the traction battery that drives the hybrid is almost the same. So, I, and the other thing, I went into the Peugeot forum and I found it chaos people complaining about things so i decided nah it's terrible so i thought i should just share this with you guys it's a very excellent car and if you have you know saved a little bit go get yourself one you you will enjoy yourself okay guys take care bye bye